cardiovascular intensity increases. So for each Silver and Fit Signature Series class, Explore, Experience, and Excel, there are levels of the rate of perceived exertion, RPE, that we suggest for your students. So when you're doing the intensity increases, you wanna follow the appropriate ranges. And rate of perceived exertion is simply how do your students feel? Are they working light? Are they working moderate? Are they working hard? No matter what intensity or what class, your students should always be able to comfortably talk during the cardiovascular exercise, and they shouldn't be experiencing any pain or holding their breath or making any faces. So we're gonna look at different ways of how can we take our students to the next level of cardiovascular fitness to increase their heart health. And to do that, if we play in the range of the rate of perceived exertion by using the techniques I'm gonna show you as an example, what you can do is you can take your students, you can bring them up for a little bit and then bring them back down. Bring them up for a little bit and bring them back down. And over time, that's gonna increase their baseline of endurance and they're gonna be able to work at a higher level continuously. So we're gonna start by looking at our seated, our first progression. So your students are seated in the chair and here we're really, really working on endurance. So you may have students that come in and maybe your interval is a minute long, but maybe they just can go for a few seconds and then they have to pause. So a way that you can interval your cardiovascular exercise in the chair is maybe you do one of the base movements, like the march, and then you pause and you do a light range of motion movement, give them a little break, and then bring them back again to that march. What's really nice for your seated individual, if they have the ability to get up out of the chair, is to interval some seated and some standing cardio. So maybe if you have them marching in the chair and you're wanting to progress them, to get them up out of the chair, which is one of our overall goals. We wanna get our students up and standing and the ability to move. Think of all those activities of daily living, grocery shopping, going out with their friends. We need to be mobile and to be on our feet. So maybe you have them march in their chair and you have them get up, come out to the side, hold on to the side of their chair, maybe do some side steps, and then maybe you come back into the chair again for a little more marching. So that's one way you can ease your students up out of the chair, especially if you've been teaching a class and they're used to the chair, they're comfortable to it, with it. It may not feel wonderful you know, for them to come out. They may be scared or, so this is a nice way to ease them in to some standing cardiovascular work. Now, for your students that are freestanding and holding onto the side of the chair, we can start to play with the strength of the movement. So maybe we have a small march and then we take that to a bigger march, pick the knees up. So we have a little stronger, more range of motion, taking it back to a small march and then picking it up. So playing with that intensity, and that could even be done for the side step. We have a small side step, and then maybe we make it a little bigger. We bend the knees a little bit more, we sink the hips back a little bit more. Now moving on to our freestanding, so I'm gonna come to the front. Again, we have a clear pathway. We have the side step. Now you can intensify this with your students by making it stronger and adding a level. So down and up. And that's a low impact option on how you can raise the intensity. Now if your students are comfortable hopping, we can actually raise the intensity by adding a little impact. So we're gonna look at a double side step. So we've got a double side step. Now you could add a little basketball shot in the middle with a little hop. So we can level the movements or we can add intensity. Another example for your freestanding students is we can take a march into a jog. Or we could take that march 
And we can just make it stronger, lifting the knees, pumping the arms more. Any time that you're showing an intensity increase, show the low impact option. Some of our students, it just doesn't feel good to hop. If they can hop, you know, that's great, and it feels good to jog it out, that's great, but always include a low impact option. So remember, adding this intensity is gonna help your students increase their heart health and their cardiovascular fitness.